In this video, we'll go through each step to create a new project. Click on create new project and then next, but for now, we'll use an existing project. So we enter the main keyword. This is the main keyword for the main site that is created, which creates this permalink here on Google Sites. If that permalink is already taken, it will add three random characters onto the end. So I'll change here to budget. And you'll see that that updates along here. This field, the template folder, is the location to nav navigate to if you edit the default template. Typically, that is only for advanced users. I use the default template in all my projects so everyone can get the same results that we are getting using the default template. There is a video tutorial on the forum specifically about editing templates. So if you'd like to find out more, just go to the forum and see that. Here, use continue project. But once you've completed this project and you want to run it again, Swap that to repeat project and you can go through the exact same project as many times as you like. Select the redirection date, typically leave it by default of two weeks and click next. Here is where you put your keyword phrases to rank for. Okay, so there's a bit to go over here. With your very first project, really you should be just testing the software to get used to the feel of how it works. So typically you would just use two keyword phrases, get through the process and see how the software works from get from start to finish and see the results in Google. So use more or less competitive terms just so you can see the results in Google and get familiar with the software. You'll see in the software here we have Google Main Site and Google Helper Site. That means for each project, this software creates two unique Google sites using the keyword phrases and the data you input into this software. On the second site created, it put links to every page created in the first project on each individual page of the second site created to give great backlinks back to that first one. So typically with a project, I'll have around 60 odd different keyword phrases that I will get to rank for in Google for the niche that I'm targeting. Once I have that list, I'll grab the first six or 12 keywords that are the most competitive. Personally, I like to do them in groups of six. So then I will create the projects using the most competitive keywords first and keep a record of those URLs created. They're saved in the PDF, of course. The more competitive terms will not rank instantly, instantly. As we all know, we need links to rank in the tougher terms. Then in the next projects, it's exactly the same project where I'm just swapping out the keywords using the less competitive terms. I put links back to those first projects in the software and every project that I run sends more backlinks back to those original ones, raising them up the SERPs in Google. So we'll progress. Click next once you've entered your keywords. Here is where we add our article content. And I like to use articles of around 200 words only, not more. In this window, we have two sections. This is where you paste your article content. And here is the protected area. So for, for example, if you had an SEO article, you paste the article in here and then you put the terms SEO, comma, search engine optimization, comma, links, comma, backlinks, comma. And then that means that when we spin this article context here using the make spin text button, it will not change any of the words that you have put in the protected field up here. Once you've put it in, you can click on the spin, on the test spin text, and you can see all the different variations. Every time a new post is created on the Google site, you'll get a different spun variation of that article content that you put here. Click Next. 
This is for advanced users. We give people the opportunity to put HTML directly into their Google site created. This is for more advanced users who understand HTML. And the one thing I'll say here is number one, you can see here I've got a link back to a more competitive niche. Well, this one's ranked on number two, so I want to get that to number one. So I've put a link here and that will go on every page created with site one and site two. The main thing I want to say here is use gentle steps. If you're putting HTML in here, run a project with one keyword, check the results on the Google site to make sure that your HTML is formatted correctly. Once you've done that, once you're happy that the HTML is presenting correctly on the Google sites, then you can progress on with using as many keywords as you like. So this software offers unlimited flexibility with the ability to add HTML to your existing templates. And by doing that, there are, there are advantages. By adding your own HTML into each Google Sites page, it makes your sites more unique from any others out there in Google. So click Next. So here we are at Google Main Site, and below there you'll see Helper Site. Here is where you choose the Gmail account you would like to use for the first Google site created. Now remember previously I said we want to link back to those more competitive terms or the sites created with those more competitive terms. Get the URL for site 2 which has links back to site 1 on every page created. Put the main URL in here and then this will this link will be displayed on every new page created in site 1 and site 2 in this software giving tons of links back to site 2 created using the more competitive terms and over time you will be amazed by the results using this strategy you get tons of tier 3 and tier 4 links back to the first site created or the site one created in the more tougher project. So this is the field where you put your YouTube URLs. I suggest you go to the forum, the members forum, and go to split testing time for traffic and higher rankings thread. <laughs> Read all this here. And that will make a lot more sense of what YouTube URLs to put in there. Click next. And that is it. Click on start software or start work and then the software goes out and creates the first set of sites using Google account number one. Once it's completed doing that it goes and creates another set of pages on, it creates a second site with another set of pages all unique and different from the first. Once it's completed that then it goes then our new pinging engine kicks in and it pings the second site, every URL created in the second site to 20 very highly Googlebot attended sites across the web to get your second site indexed immediately, pretty much immediately. One other important thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video was make sure you have your recovery email handy. Why? Because when you run Trustjacker, it uses a unique browser and your Google account may ask for you to verify that account within this browser. And so you can copy and paste this email, your, the recovery email, in the browser in real time and you only need to, need to do it once per account. So you may need to do it twice for the first time using each Google account in this software. So go back to the software. Once the pinging has finished, then it will load up this PDF as you see here. With two sets of accounts, all your links, and a link back to the forum with nine additional document sharing websites that you can upload this PDF to. So there you go, the software is working, it's just logged into Google.
It's now going to create a new site in Classic. And people are worried about us using cl Classic sites. Obviously, we can update to the new sites if we need to. We're using Classic sites because they provide much better backlinks. The software solves the capture for you in the background, at our expense, I might add. It's checking to see if that permalink is unique. If not, it will add three characters and do it again. Also, you'll see there is a progression bar down here. It does one progression bar for the first site, another for the second, and a third for the pingy. So there you go. Feel free to ask any questions in the forum below.